Hey, how's it going? Oh, we're ready for the new one. This time we're gonna brew a West Coast IPA, which we're gonna use a Centennial. Well, we're gonna use Warrior for uh, bitterness, Centennial for flavor, and we're gonna add some citron at the end for some aroma. And that's the third or fifth time I make this beer. And it's pretty good, actually. It's like, I really like it. Uh, we're gonna use Scotman Labs uh, yeast, uh, Cali Ale. Uh, the last experiments I'll be using them, uh, that yeast works very, very, very well. Uh, what I mean is like, a, you start really quick. Uh, your beer is about in two weeks is ready. And then your cold crash only take about a couple of days. After when you just transfer before you do the cold crash, it's pretty clear already. Okay, let's start. Hey, how's it going? All right, we're gonna add a uh, 10 and a half gallon of water, hot water into our pot. Yeah, I almost forgot. <laughs> we're gonna add the calcium uh, sulfate into our water to get it harder and get better results. Let's do it. Hey guys, well, we got the grain bill here. It's 11.5 kilos pail to row, 700 grams of uh, wheat malt, 700 grams crystal malt 20, and 30 grams of carapils. Let's throw all the grain into the match tank. Hey guys, well, as I was showing you, um, when we do, when we, uh, when we put the water into it, it was 55 degrees after we dough the grain into it. Uh, the temperature went down to 50 degrees Celsius again. Um, now what we want to do right now is just raise the temperature to 65, trying to go one degree per minute. So we can basically, as the way we're going to heat it up, basically we're doing a protein rest. So that would help us to clear up the beer better or quicker or get better results by the way. Okay, let's go. We're gonna do 65 minute mash. We're gonna put the lead on it. We're gonna turn the heat off. We're gonna be monitoring the heat of the 65 constantly. We're gonna be stirring the stirring stirring to like maintain the 65 degrees. And also we're gonna be doing the test uh, the iodine iodine place to uh, make sure that we get all the <clears throat> the extract that we are looking for. Okay, let's go. Well, after the iodine test was negative, so now we can do our mash out. So we're gonna heat up to 75, 75, 76 degrees, and we're gonna get eight gallons of water for sparching. So we're gonna sparch a, with like eight gallons, and we're gonna heat it up as well to 75. We're gonna be transferring, you'll see the process. We're gonna pour eight gallons of water to heat it up to 75 degrees Celsius.
Well, guys, as you see, we got the sparching, mash up. Now we're gonna start boiling. Uh, we're gonna wait the warrior, and we're gonna add it just before boil, just uh, to avoid avoid the. Um, you know, when you throw the hot, kind of like a you get like a volcano kind of eruption in your your boiling. If you add it right before. You would uh, avoid that, that part, and also, and the reason why is because when it's boiling and you add it, basically all the oxygen and all the gases there like, trapped into the, the, the hop, they basically want to come out right away, and in that way, basically, that's what you get that effervescent. Okay, let's throw it in. All right, 64 grams, warrior. 15.4% alpha acid. Let's throw it in. Hey, well, after 40 minutes of boil, we're gonna put the 56 grams of Centennial. Well, we got like 15, 20 minutes more left. We're gonna put the, the coil so you can start sterilizing. So uh, when we finish, we can start cooling. All right, let's put it in. Well, now is the time that we gonna, we connect the pump to let it run. So the pump will sterilize. And then that way when we pump in where we're cooling, uh, we create a little bit of whirlpool and that helps us in, from the end of the process. Well, we're about to start cooling. So I do a technique that is called hop stand, which is add the hop while you're cooling where while, uh, while you're cooling when you're around six 80 celsius 80 degrees celsius and that help you to keep more flavor of the hop as basically the first thing that evaporate when you add the hop into the into the boil is the aroma so if we just break the boil point and we still is still in posterization uh, stage we're safe to throw it. So 80 degrees is pretty safe, so that's what I throw it, and I got really good results. Well, very, very, very nice smell. Uh, you can smell the citra, you can smell the, the centennial. Uh, oh, by the way, and the video, during the video, I said there is crystal 20. Actually, no, it's crystal 40. Uh, crystal 40 will give you this color. 20 won't, won't give you that. It will be more clear than that, for sure. More, more lower color, for sure. But uh, yeah, basically, 
Uh, the reason why I like using this color is kind of like if you're going to use a, a hop that is uh, the predominant, uh, predominant uh, flavor would be the grapefruit. Uh, I think this color kind of takes you to the grapefruit color, uh, grapefruit uh, flavor. If I do citra, I do a little bit lower color, so it kind of go more like a, I don't know, maybe it's in my head. <laughs> Anyways, well, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, if you don't follow me on Facebook yet, uh, you can go to uh, facebook.com slash piolo, P-I-O-L-O, -O, uh, brewer, uh, piolo brewer. Um, and subscribe hit like uh i we're posting there like most of them in spanish but like we're trying to do english interviews now uh i'm in canada as you guys know in victoria so i'm going to be interviewing brewers around the city and i'm going to be posting over there maybe doing a live we don't know yet um the, basically we're switching but well, not switching we're basically trying to do both spanish and english now and it's kind of english is the new word for me now i mean like in the videos of like even if I don't know much in Spanish yet, like in videos, it's kind of like moving into an English, kind of like it's been a little difficult for me. But, uh, well, I hope uh, you guys have no problem understanding what I kind of like the things I said. And thanks for watching. Uh, also, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you like the content, subscribe. Come on. <laughs> subscribe. A uh, little bell, too, so you get the notification when we put a things uh, live uh, as you guys know uh very very soon we're going to be uh, brewing in a in a big brewery well in a local brewery here in victoria called moon underwater which is going to be awesome all right guys see you next time